What I want to do for you today on this instructional DVD is I want to go through how to set up the software and I'm going to touch on some specific things to help get you started and make it as easy as possible for you to get a great photo your first time using it. First thing that a new user should look at is the settings tab. The only two things that I concern myself with on this tab is the image directory. This is where the software is going to save all of the exposures that I take and the dark frames directory. This is where the software is going to save all the dark frames that I take and it's also where the software is going to look for the dark frames to do its auto dark subtraction. Uh, I use c colon backslash meet images for my image directory and c colon backslash meet images backslash darks for my darks directory. a preview box and an auto exposure box. This roller tab here controls the exposure duration up to 15 seconds. You can take it from one second all the way to 15 without having to use any of these tabs or, or controls up here. Normally when I'm taking exposures with the DSi I leave this setting to one second and I set my ex exposure time using the preview setting and I'll show you how I do that as we go along. If you don't, if you're following along with your software and you have it open right now and the DSi attached and your live screen is not updating at one second like mine is, make sure that this box is set to one second, 1 second, 1.0 and make sure that the live checkbox is checked. If it's not checked you can see that the the live exposure will stop updating. If it is checked then the camera is taking one second exposures and downloading them into the software and you can see it update. 